Hello, Mary here with another video. Thank you for uh, joining me today. I wanted to talk about um, the polarity of emotions on the planet right now. I was um, the brunt of someone's anger today and yesterday. And um, it made me realize that if I'm the brunt of someone's anger, perhaps you are as well. Um, these are very chaotic and polarizing times. And so, um, you know, people come from two different emotions. They're going to come from love or they're going to come from fear, those two. So when someone is angry with you or comes at you full of anger, just know that um, it's coming from a place of fear. And because of the energies on the planet and what we're going through, um, these are very, very polarizing times. So um, when this happens, um, take a step back, take a deep breath, and just know that this person that you're dealing with is probably coming from a place of fear and um, try to center yourself and respond. Instead of reacting, just respond um, or choose not to respond. Sometimes that's the best thing to do. Um, yeah, I think that's all I'm going to say on that subject. Um, you know, I think my, I do want to say that my spiritual practice, uh, daily meditation, has really helped me to be able to recenter and to not react, but just recenter myself and just uh, know that these particular people are coming from a place of fear. And that helps me to forgive and just move on. Okay, so you may need to call on those. Um, you know, your inner strength and um, try to be centered right now. And if you can meditate, even if it's just five minutes a day, that's really going to help you. Okay? Alright. So, I think I'll pull some cards today. Hmm. I'm just not sure if I should do political stuff. It's, um... Very polarizing, <laughs> apparently. Um, but let's just see um, if Spirit can offer us any guidance going forward. You know what? I think I might read this Maria. Uh, forget her last name. It begins with a B. Maria. She's a spy. Um, she's a pretty redhead that's been on the news. Um, she's been working, I think she's been taking money or somehow funneling money through the NRA, something like that. It's ridiculous how little I know about politics. <laughs> but anyway, um, let me just do a reading on her and we'll see what happens. Um, I've moved the camera so that you can see my cards. And so you can see me pick the cards. I didn't realize that you couldn't see. Sorry about that. All right. Spirit, what can you tell us about Maria? This Maria, the Russian woman who has been arrested. The star card. The star card is all about hope. Hope. I wonder if Maria is the hope <clears throat> for things changing or for things moving forward. Perhaps she will um, give some information to the authorities about what's going on. Um, maybe they're, they're asking her questions right now. So she may be the hope for... Um, for things to change. I hope so. Okay, so. Spirit, please show me. The next card up is the High Priestess. All right.
right. So I feel like... Hmm. Either she's very intuitive or she is looking to the divine for help. So maybe this Maria is hopeful that she can pray her way out of this. I'm not sure. Um, but that's interesting. The star and the high priestess, two major arcana, very powerful energies. So it could be that Maria is hopeful that she's going to get out of this situation um, through um, divine intervention or through um, prayer, something of that nature. But we have the hermit card. Uh, this is another major arcana. Wow, this one just jumped out. Um, so, obviously, she has a lot of time to go within. Um, she's, I believe, in jail, so she has time to think about what she's been doing. Um, time to go. She has lots of time <laughs> um, to go within and um, think about what she's done and... Uh, The magnitude of what she's done, really. Um, Spirit, one more card from Maria for this Russian spy, Maria. It feels so weird to pick the cards up here. I'm going to have to figure out how to show you that. I'm, you know, definitely shuffling and all that. This is the Five of Swords. All right, so this person, Maria, is going through, she's going, she's going to be going through quite a battle. Uh, she has a battle ahead of her. If you look at this card, you see like there's um, people on the battlefield kind of left injured. And the sun is coming up. So I feel like if I, um, what this card tells me is that this Maria person um, although she's trying to pray her way out of it, and she has hope that she can get out of it, she's really going to go inside, and she's really going to, I believe, at the end of the day, because it's sword energy, that's all about truth coming out, it's intellect. So I feel like she might be um, talking. Hmm. That would be good, right? I feel like she may be talking and giving information to the authorities about... Um, what's been going on as far as money being exchanged and things like that. So that's good. All right, so I'm going to pick some cards here. Um, let's start off with the um, deck by uh, Colette Baron reed This is Wisdom of the Oracle. Here, please show us guidance on what's going on with Maria. Anything else with the Trump administration would be great. Chaos and conflict. So we know we're in, we're in chaotic times. We know that there's a lot of conflict going on. This is a very polarizing time. Um, but it is number 33, and 3 plus 3 adds up to 6. The number 6 is all about balance, harmony, stability. So even though these are chaotic times, times right now, can't speak, um, just know that um, things will work out in a more balanced and fair way. Okay. So I'm using Kyle Gray's Angel Prayers, and I just want to put out the question to Spirit. Um, please offer us some guidance for today. Today is, I think, what is today, the 18th? Wow, I don't even know what day it is. Today is July 18th, so um, Spirit, please give us some guidance for today. Please show us what can we do. Moving ahead. Unconditional love. Try to come from a place of love if you can. It's not easy sometimes, I, I realize that. But this is the Divine Mother. It says, Thank you, Divine Mother, for helping me to give and receive the love that I deserve. Um, come from a place of love, if you can, especially if people are triggering you. Um, when people lash out, 
and anger. They're just scared. Just know that. They're just full of fear. Okay. One more card, Spirit, from Doreen Virtue, Daily Guidance. See only love. Okay. Apparently this video is about love. <laughs> See only love, guys. Um, remember, um, even if people upset you or trigger you, know that we are all connected. We are all one. I mean, that's the reality. And we're all at different paths, different places on our path spiritually. So try to rise above any hate, any anger, and just try to be in a place of love. See only love. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for your wonderful comments. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and hitting that thumbs up sign. I really appreciate it. And I'm just loving the readings I'm doing for, for you all. Um, it's been wonderful. So thank you for scheduling those. All right. Take care and I'll see you next time.